Our story begins with my daughter Jane and her husband Steve. They're just starting out and are already living their dream. After about a year into their marriage, they had a baby girl, Susan. <laughs> You've been so busy with the baby. I thought it would be nice if I made you dinner tonight. Thanks, honey. That was really sweet of you. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I'm going to just sit for a bit and eat this real quick. That sounds like a great idea. While you eat, I wanted to chat with you about something that's been on my mind for a bit. Okay, what's up? Well, we see that my school, your school, and my medical school have been really expensive. We also see that these loans are really cutting into our monthly income. It's creating a challenge that we're having to deal with. It means that we can't have some of the things that we've dreamed of immediately, like a nicer home. We know if we want Susie to go to better schools, we're going to have to move. When we found this place, we mentioned it being temporary. It's what we can afford, but we always knew that the schools were not rated as high as we'd like. Are you saying you want to move? We're just getting comfortable here. I don't know that I'm on board with that idea. I feel like we've finally found some friends we can count on as part of our support system. Oh, no, no, no. I think you're misunderstanding where I'm going. What I'm saying is that I want the best for Susie as she grows up. I want us to do that for her. And what this has all shown me is that I want us to make the decision now to find a way for her not to have to worry about some of the challenges that we've faced. Susie will be off to college before you know it. When the time comes, I don't want her ability to pay for college to be a deciding factor as to which one she picks. Oh, I completely agree. I want her to have every opportunity she can. I did a little research and came up with the fact that there are these things called a 529 plan. Essentially, it's a special type of savings account that offers us tax advantages and allows us a way to pay for her college costs. That's interesting. I'd heard some people talking about something like that while I was in school, but I never researched it or paid much attention to it. There are also prepaid programs that are like a 529. The 529 allows us to apply the savings to almost any college or educational expense. That's where the prepaid college programs are different. They're focused on state-specific schools. The best part of a prepaid plan is that you're paying for school credits now at today's prices, rather than at the price they'll be when she's 18. There are two plans that we should consider. Either a 529 plan or a prepaid plan, right? The 529 is tax advantaged and allows for savings and works for almost any college in the U.S. The prepaid is similar, but you're paying for college at today's prices and you can only use it in your state. And it's tax advantaged as well. Okay, so the big difference is the one in state is paying at current prices and the one for the whole U.S. is just a focused tax advantaged account. That means the real question is where will she end up going to school and how much do we trust that we'll be in Massachusetts in 18 years? That's a tough one. So here's a thought. If we never use the money, like if she wants to go to school out of state, we can take the principal investment out with no penalty since it was taxed going in. Earnings on the investment would of course be taxed though. If we were ever to have another child, we could also transfer the plan to them. From what I saw, you can even save it for a grandchild. So it's safe either way. Did your research say anything about room and board? From what I saw, I don't believe you can pay for future room and board with a prepaid tuition plan. My bigger concern is that if we chose the prepaid plan and she chooses to go out of state, we may not get the full amount of the earnings. The state may choose to pay a smaller return. So that's the real trade-off.